Hello. Well, here I am sat in the woods and I'm going to talk to you very quickly about slugs and permaculture gardening. I uh, posted some stuff on Facebook that uh, developed with a friend who's been studying slugs for quite a while by the look of it. Um, and Hervé, who's been studying the slugs, uh, has noticed that the slugs, uh, their job in nature is to eat uh, freshly dead organic matter. So when you've got, um, if you harvest a lettuce, there's always those four leaves around the edge that, that are a bit frilly and, and a bit dirty. And you pull them off and you throw them on the ground, um, the slugs will come and eat that. So why do we get slug attacks in a garden? If you've got a conventional garden, um, you're probably picking that lettuce and you're taking off those four leaves and you're taking it all the way to the compost heap um, and you're waiting for it to be composted in the compost heap before it goes back onto the land. So the slugs have got no job. Um, and there are slugs there, so the slugs will come out and, and eat a few salads. So uh, the conventional gardener has to put down slug pellets. In permaculture it's even worse um, because we start by laying down a thick mulch usually of straw or hay um, and we're on our way to creating a very rich and fertile and autonomous soil by mulching it and stimulating all the soil life and one of the soil life organisms that we stimulate is the slug. Um, so we created this niche where we've laid lots and lots of organic matter on the ground um, and it all needs to be decomposed so we can't really complain that there is an invasion of slugs underneath the mulch plus they've got to hide in place from the sun um, and at night they come out and they eat everything so one of the solutions that we've all come up with is to start everything off in little pots in the greenhouse and don't actually sow anything in these mulch beds because the small plants coming up from seed don't get enough time to grow before the slug come along and lop their heads off. So we're planting out uh, courgettes and tomatoes and lettuces and all sorts of other plants already started off in pots and a lot of people are still losing a lot of their plants to the slugs and one of the reasons if you ever notice but when you plant a courgette or a pumpkin plant out it's normally got the two first leaves that stick out either side and then you've got three or four leaves on the main stem coming up and depending on how late it is when you plant them out sometimes the, the bud of a flower as well and when you plant it out no matter how careful you are those first two leaves on the side they yellow off and they die now the slug's job is as I said to come and clear up any freshly dead organic matter and those two dead leaves, the slug is programmed to come and clear them up. And the problem is, they're attached to the rest of the plant, and while he's there, well, he's not too bothered about eating live material either, you know, they're not fussy. Um, they, they do prefer dead material. So, one of the solutions that we've come up with, I've been testing it now for about six weeks, um, and it's incredibly efficient, is to go around my beds on a two to three daily basis, and weed all the weeds that are popping up through the mulch. Um, they're quite easy to pull out. Dandelions. Um, dandelions is the best one. Um, don't try and pull that root out. Leave the root in there because it will grow back. You need that dandelion in there. The root's breaking the soil up. It's bringing minerals up. And it's giving you slug food. Uh, so all those leaves, just pull them off and scatter them around on top of the mulch. And you can make rings of rings of uh, fresh organic matter, wild sorrel, uh, dock leaves, anything broadleaf like that, broadleaf and succulent, uh, and make rings of it round your plant. So when you plant a lettuce or you plant a courgette, anything that's likely to get nicked off by the by the slugs, make a ring of organic matter, fresh organic matter round the plant. And when the slugs come out, well, they'll eat, they'll do their job, and they're quite happy, and they won't even finish it, and they'll have to go back and hide again when the sun comes up. And keep an eye on your plants, or your cabbage plants. They do the same thing as the courgette. There's always two or three leaves that die off when you plant them out. As, you, as and when you see those leaves dying off, just nick them off as if they were weeds, with your fingernail, or a little knife, and leave them on the ground. Don't 
put organic matter in the compost heap. All the slugs go to the compost heap. And the ones that haven't gone to the compost heap, if you're in permaculture and you've got mulched beds, you just have thousands of slugs and they haven't got anything to eat. So they eat what you want to eat. So feed the slugs, don't try and kill the slugs. Um, to get it even better, uh, Indian runner ducks, we bought two this winter. They've been running around the garden all spring. Um, they've actually learned not to get into the beds. Um, they prefer running around on the grass paths in between the beds. They graze a little bit. And any time I do find a slug in a bed, when I'm working on a bed, I pull the slug out and I put it on the grass. That slug's going to take nearly all day to get from the middle of the path back into the bed. And by the time he's tried to do that, the ducks will have come by and they eat the, they eat the slugs. Um, they still haven't attacked any of our any of our plants, these ducks. Um, they do attack the chickens, um, but they don't attack the ducks. And the third thing is that this is a this is a permaculture niche. Uh, we've created this niche, and the slugs love the the organic matter. Um, if you haven't got any wood in your mulch, um, then you're not going to have any mushrooms in there. Well, you will have mushrooms, but you won't have any any linen. Uh, based mushrooms so you need to get some dead wood into that mulch um, or even some fresh wood but dead wood gets the process done quicker get out into the woods find a find dead bits of wood um, don't clear the woods out completely because you'll ruin the ecosystem of the woods but go out into the woods um, have a picnic take the kids out come back with a trailer load of dead branches and put these dead branches break them up um, get them wet and get those into your mulch uh, so that the mushrooms will come in um, and once you've got a mushroom based system decomposing your matter, your organic matter in your beds and creating soil fertility the slugs will reduce, uh, the slugs are there in big numbers because they are waiting for it to become like the forest when the mushrooms come in in the forest there are more different types of slug than there are in a garden but there's a lot less of them um, it's uh, quite handy that I'm here in the forest doing the video today. Um, dead leaves as well. Get dead leaves into your mulch. Um, avoid chestnuts because you get the, the spiky chestnut shells and when you go running your hands through the mulch to put plants in it's a bit painful. Um, beech leaves are good. Lime tree leaves, hazelnut tree leaves. Um, plant these trees in your garden and then the wood and the leaves will be on hand, it will fall onto your beds automatically, you just need to rake up on the paths um, and and get the, the slugs down. Hedgehog shelters as well, um, build a hedgehog shelter, you can get an old corrugated tin sheet, lay it on the ground, put two pegs in the ground, bend the sheet into a hoop, a long hoop tunnel, put two pegs the other side, cover it with hay and straw and branches so it doesn't become an oven. Um, in a nice wild corner of the garden and that will make a, a nice hedgehog hedgehog den, put some bits of wood in there as well so there's some slugs go in there the hedgehog will go in, get the slugs and he'll say, oh yeah, it's a nice place to live I built one of those last week, our cat took our kittens in there and uh, so she's living in there with her kittens at the moment so that's good for, for the little mice that come in and burrow the tunnels in the, in the underneath the mulch um, and just get the ecosystem as mature as you can, as quickly as you can, get trees in the garden, get wood in the soil, get slug predators, get mushroom in the soil, and feed the slugs while you're waiting. Feed the slugs, and then they won't eat your vegetables. Have a nice day.